So we are in Forest Spice uh, in Bournemouth, one of the most highly rated uh, Indian restaurants. Oh, oh, just wanted to film. Uh, uh, the chef has kindly agreed to allow Hello. me to. Hello, what's your name? Hi. I'm Leon. Good to meet you. Uh, I'm, I'm Abdul. Abdul. Yeah. We just want to review uh, the, how you make the most popular dish in England. Uh, yeah, chicken tikka masala. masala. Yeah, chicken tikka. And you, you're from Salad, right? Yeah, this Salad. This coconut fortress. Coconut. Right, coconut fortress. And sugar. Yeah, sugar. Yeah, there's a lot of sugar. One of sugar. Yeah, no one was so sweet. Yeah, and a special sauce. And, the, and this is a secret ingredient. Yeah, it's secret. It's a special sauce. Right? And mix and gravy. This is the gravy? Yeah, gravy. And add a gravy. And yeah. is it, uh, first, time, first time you make sauce, and after you give the Chicken, yeah, chicken, chicken, automatic, yeah. automatic, like chicken, lamb, vegetable, yeah, anything. Anything. Yeah. Yeah, anything. So, so um, all chicken tikka masala has this gravy sauce. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bi masala. And this, you, tell me about how this chicken is made. Is it made in the in the clay oven? Okay. Yeah, clay oven. Yeah, clay oven. Yeah, clay oven. Clay oven. Yeah. So, oh, look, it's very hot. Don't get yeah. Very hot. Oh, yeah. Like my hand is clay, clay oven. Yeah. So this is a clay oven. Hi, yeah. Proper clay oven. Yeah. All clay. And uh, this is metal on the outside. If you if you eat uh, best masala, I can uh, make a best one. If you uh, want uh, this uh, uh, prawn masala, I can make oh, prawn so, masala. So this is masala, the, the masala sauce. sauce. Yeah. And then you can add the, the chicken tikka, which is yeah, the most popular dish, right. yeah, straight yeah. in here, and they have it. Prepared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cut, yeah. cut, cut the piece. Right yeah. This is like this is how it turns out after the clay oven. So the tandoori. This is basically tandoori chicken. Yeah, tandoori chicken. That's this is right. a tandoori. This is actually called a tandoor. Yeah, tandoori. And then this is the chicken tikka masala. And why do people like it so much? It's a bit sweet. It's uh, uh, not really spicy, is it? No, not yeah. spicy. It's mild. So for me, I, I prefer like the, you know uh, vindaloo and something really spicy. But this, oh, so you actually boil it uh, and mix, yeah? Or you don't boil? If you want the spicy, I can make it spicy. Ah, okay, and you can make it spicier. Yeah, you can like put got chili powder. All yeah, these spices. And then, and then you then you basically put the chicken in there. And cook yeah, yeah. I add, add uh, the chicken and or mix. How, how long do you uh, do you cook it for uh, here? I about um, three, four, five minutes. Okay, three, four, five minutes and yeah. it's ready. Okay. Thank you so much for showing us the um, that was uh, oh, the, the, the star much. chef thank you. Thank from uh, Forest Spice yeah. in Bournemouth. Oh, thank you very we much. We just tasted the thank you, everybody. the thank best you. Uh, tandoori. No, oh, not tandoori chicken. The chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka masala. In town. This is the chicken tikka masala. <clears throat> so this is the most popular dish in the UK. Chow Frezi. Chow is also very popular, but this is also the most. Okay. 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 So they put them on these... Uh, these uh, alu gobi is to put it. Alu gobi down, cauliflower and yeah. potato. Okay. This is alu gobi, cauliflower. Fill our rice. Thank you. Uh, one more is coming. Pe Peshwari rice. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Lamb. That is uh, a yeah. So, uh, uh, where the only thing missing is the Peshwari naan, which is coconut naan bread. So we're here in uh, one of the top rated Indian restaurants in the area to sample the, the most popular dish in the UK. This is pilau rice. Enjoy your food. Thank you. Thank you so much. Chef can show you one by one. And we'll uh, see how the, this is made later. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. This was quite sweet. 
So it's made in a tandoor and clay pot. This is chicken, so this is the most popular variation. You can have prawns too. Prawn tikka masala, chicken tikka masala, or lamb tikka masala. This is chicken tikka masala. And aloo gobi is uh, cauliflower, which is very healthy. What's this one again? Brinjal party. What's that? It's Brinjal party. Baji. Aubergine. Aubergine. Again, very healthy. Mm. So the chicken tikka masala sauce is, is very sweet and flavorful. And the chicken is pretty tender. It's been cooked in this clay pot. Mm. And this is the uh, prawn gel frazi with some chilies. Mm. And then this one is uh, the prawn uh, Makani. Makani. It's another. Uh, it's a very mild dish with yogurt. Oh, quite sweet actually. Very uh, tasty. But there you go. The most uh, popular dish in England is in fact an Indian dish. Or, or this restaurant is like most Indian restaurants run by Bangladeshis from Silet. Okay. Bon appetit. So, we are in search today of one of the classics of British food, fish and chips. So we've come to the classic place, Bournemouth. I just walked through the high street, not much to show you there. But now I've come to the Bournemouth Gardens where you end up to Bournemouth Pier and from there we're going to find we're going to go to the high, most highly rated chippy as they call it fish and chips place that is on Google but if you look at this quite a nice little atmosphere going on here with the river people chilling out quite a lot of people because it's a Saturday so in Hunt for uh, the classic British food, fish and chips. Um, the other one, the only other one that's actually British will be a Sunday roast and, uh, and uh, we'll do that all before leaving England. Not the best place for original foods, but we will sample some of the classics and the bests in the best locations. Look at that. Very nice. Ooh. As I said, I prefer Christchurch. But this is uh, the largest uh, town in the area. And again, not a city because there's no cathedral. Ding ding! Excuse me, sorry. Okay, always. Uh, <laughs> Whenever you need a wide road, there's people. That's the way it is. Okay, let's go down here. Ring, ring. Thank you. And that's a mini golf over there. I've had a few rounds there. It's nice. You see up there, there's some bars and pubs it's a good way to go around right on bike you can just see things a little bit quicker I let's go to Bournemouth Pier or Pier Approach there's the wheel it's very nice here actually although more hectic with more people it's actually a good balance between big city life that I'm used to in 
say Beijing or London um, yeah but knowing me I, I prefer really hectic stuff or just like nice and chill like like quite stretch the thing is worth like the gang <laughs> what a character look we got our own very own wheel there's the pier aquarium you have to pay for this probably going to the pier so we shan't go we will just check it out from here and then go look for the fish and chips wow saturday night in bournemouth this is the place to be not in sleepy christchurch but here Oh, and what have we here? Oh, 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 it's free. Oh, it's free. Normally you have to pay, look. We have a treat. Oh, I'm taking you guys on a treat. Being the cheap ass I am, <laughs> I wouldn't have paid to take you guys here, but... The gods say we can go in for free and we shall. Oh, again, traffic jam, traffic jam. Oh my god, again. You can see Isle of Wight. Super nice there. This is a much longer pier than Boscombe Pier. If you see Boscombe Pier in the distance, you can barely see it. But this, is, this would be the where Boscombe Pier comes out to and then we'll stop here. But we keep going. See that? Now, on, on the other way around, I'll take you to see the poolside. And then we go sample the great British classic dish, fish and chips. Again, traffic jam. Excuse me, moi. It's probably quite bad me cycling through all this actually. I sh shouldn't, probably shouldn't be cycling. Anyway, takes us quicker. So there, look at that. You can actually do, um, uh, cable all the way from there's a little theme park here at the end of the pier but you can actually go up there and do um, all the way back down to the beach what's it called again oh I nearly crashed again I've got this laptop that I'm gonna be editing videos on so it's super hard today <laughs> Even harder than normal to steer the, the bike. Oh, look at the sun. It's probably possible to get fish and chips from here as well, but but um, there's Harry Ramsden, which is a huge chain, like huge place. But I saw the ratings were like 2.6. It shows huge chains don't make the best fish and chips. Look at this, it seems this is a great place where, where the sun is shining. And uh, that's the Bournemouth International Centre. So you've got a family, a lot of um, uh, um, people like me, immigrants have come here to settle down in Bournemouth, as well as old people who want to retire here. beach life and given that we're nearing end of September this is pretty pretty good look at that oh Baywatch scenes wow well, that was a 
meets for you guys. Now we've done both piers of uh, Dorset Beach Line. Okay. Now let's go and find in search of the best fishing ships around. See, there's even little rides over here, and that's where the the cable comes down. Actually, let's take you quickly to see the water because you guys haven't seen the water yet. At the risk of my bike being nicked, let's see. That that's Harry Amston, which is a huge restaurant. All of this fish and chips but we're not going there we're gonna do the, the actual real McCoy oh it's really hard with my bike here so let's abandon this and just take you closer to the water if someone nicks it we're gonna have to run back and whack him over the head with this laptop breaking him and my new laptop that's what's called zip lining. God, zip lining. So I did that in Costa Rica. This is, looks like about 500 meter, or four, not even that, probably 300 meter zip line, but I did a kilometer one. Okay, let's see how far we get before someone takes a go at my bike. Here you go. Lovely afternoon. Now you've seen Boscombe and Bournemouth. See, a lot of people come here on holiday. That kid just said hotel. See that? Look at me with my laptop. Why? Let's feel the water with my laptop here. Whew. Not too cold actually. Fine. Again, on, on the cliff tops there, very fancy homes for you to die comfortably when you're old or if you're just very wealthy. Quite frankly, when I'm old, I think I'll keep traveling and if I'm too old to travel, then I'll just watch these videos. How's it going? How are you doing? Sure. To a snap. Come closer, guys. Can we get everyone in? Oh, it's on selfie. It's on selfie. I'm just taking a photo of me now. <laughs> Look at that. You just get a picture of me. That's the only memory of Bournemouth. Here you go. Cheers. Let's do one together. With I'm 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 vlogging. Oh, you, we don't need to like. It would just be like this. There's no. Yeah. Thanks so much, Cheers. Cheers. Where are you guys from? London. London. Nice, nice, nice. Um, eth ethnically uh, Indian or Pakistan? India. Ah, India. Okay. For hot acha. Okay. Nice. All right. Let's go to experience the fishing chips. Oh my god, your man. Oh, look at this. We are going up the uphill battle here. Your man's been caught on the steepest hill in Bournemouth. Let's try and get there. Oh. Try and lower the gear. Oh my god. Oh. Let's go. What I do for you guys for, for food. Oh, 
I hope it's there. I hope you're right, Google. Ugh. Steep or so in Bournemouth. Just to get to the old chippy. Let's go. See, I told you these houses. Almost crashed again. Oh, that's a fancy Chinese restaurant. Usually Chinese restaurants aren't fancy. Okay, we've surmounted the insurmountable hill. Okay. So it should be here. Oh my god! You went the wrong way! Ah! Rock! I have to go down this hill and left. Oh my god, my direction skills are terrible. Oh, oh fuck. Sorry, YouTube. That was crazy. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. But now we get to go on a ride. I have one break on now because of this stupid laptop. It cost me almost a thousand dollars or quid. Quid is pound in England. British pound is quid. It's like bucks. It's the dollars. All right, let's let these two go. Hey, how's it going? This is it. It was a downhill ride to this Finches. For the vein! Ha! He's Brazilian. Okay, this is the fish and chips. Oh! How's it going, guys? Well, you good? I just cycled up the, the steepest hill in Bournemouth to try and get to you guys, and I found I was in the wrong hill. <laughs> I went up that hill with, a, with, my, with my laptop and, uh, and my bike. You want to bring your bike inside as well? Yeah, maybe someone will live here. Yeah. This is Bournemouth. Just to make sure Anything can happen. Thank you, brother. No What's your name? Jono. Jono and... <coughs> Ancho. Ancho. I'm Leon. Nice to meet you. I'm doing a food vlog. Uh, trying the British, Great British fish and chips. So, uh, hope, hopefully you can provide some... Uh, what do you recommend? I've already eaten lunch, but I just... Which country? Which country are you guys from? Uh, Turkey? Turkey. Turkey, ah, good. Hoskaldenus. Uh, Hoskaldenus to England, but I actually, I don't, I grew up here, but I don't live here, so Hoskaldenus to me. Yeah. Oh, teşekkürler ederim. Ah, okay. What can you recommend for fish and chips? Uh, um, a small, a small portion. Do you mind if I? Thank you. Oh wow! Look at this. This is YouTube. <laughs> You'll be famous. This this shop will be famous. It's called C C Star. C Star. C -star. Yeah. But there's no C Stars in here. This is cod, right? Yeah. It's not haddock. It's cod yeah. or haddock. Can you? Do you have an option for a small? No. Only. This side, yeah. This side, okay. Yeah. So the only regular, yeah? Yeah, regular. So if you give me regular, then give me the biggest. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Thank you. Um, and the rhythm is thank you, right? Or is it? Yeah. Uh, um, my Turkish is. Oh, my bike's in there. I was going to check on my bike and my laptop. Good uh, Thank you, is teşekkürler ederim. Yeah, and 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 and. Afiat Olsen is, Afiat Olsen, is yeah. like one for retro. Yeah. Okay, great. Afiat. So can I have the look at here's the price list. This is what this is what you set you back. Haddock, cod, 
for it cheaper. Well, is that cod or haddock? This one is cod. Cod, yeah. Cod is the traditional, yeah. Fish and chips. So we'll do the cod. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. So, so just uh, tell tell me how is it made? You put the fish in there. Yeah. And the batter. How do you make the batter? Uh, so you you have the flour, yeah. Let's just uh, explore how he makes it. Now it's not busy. We're lucky. Yeah. This place is popular. It's uh, rated 4.7 stars. So this is the. Um, you, uh, what what is in, in what is inside just this? Flour and water. Flour and water. It must be something else. Uh, no. Just flour and water. Salt. No. Uh, just oil. Flour, no. Just flour and, and water. And then and uh, sh show me. So you 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 put the fish in there. All right. And then you throw it in the oil. So look, we've got some. The Turkish are very interesting. You support uh, Istanbul, yeah? Yeah. Istanbul, Istanbul. So, the, so he's going to show the master chef. Oh yeah, maybe you fry me a fresh one. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Every time. Just a few How do you say what is your name? It's uh, I used to know. Um, Adunne. Uh, Senin Adunne. Senin Adunne. Yeah. Uh, and then my name is is uh, how do you say my name is is like Medin. Menem. Benim Adun. Benim Adun. Benim Leon. Ali. Senin Adunne. Ali. Ali. Good to meet you, Ali. I won't shake your hand because you're cooking. Oh, this is this is perfect. So this is a piece of cod, yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Oh wow, man. That's it. That's it. Yeah. And so this, like, this is a takeaway, so there's no real... It's more of a takeaway. So what we'll do is we'll eat it on the sea. Uh, uh, on the beach, not, not in the sea. There's no seats, there's no chairs here. The only chair is here. And I don't think that's... And look, this is our fish cooking right now. How long does it take to cook, Ali? Five, six minutes, yeah. Five, six minutes, yeah. Five days, yeah. Um, so uh, if you overcook, what happens? If you undercook, if you cook for too long, what happens? It's too... No, five, six minutes is okay. Okay, not that's too long. Not too, too, early, too, yeah. too early, then the fish is not uh, no, properly... Yeah. What temperature do we have this at? 150 degrees. Yeah. So if I drop my GoPro in here, it's, it's finished. <laughs> Thank you so right. much. Yeah, you're welcome. And so what is the side? What comes with the fish? Obviously, let's guess. Chips. <laughs> it's chips, yeah? Like this. Wow, thank you so much. Oh, what generous, generous, generous. Thank you're you. Welcome. Would you like salt pudding again? Yes, please. So then we'll do the, we'll do the traditional. We'll do it from the chef's side. Oh, yeah. Like this. The master so, chef. Yeah. That's it. Wow. Open it up. Salt is not bad for you anymore. We we know. I uh, know. We uh, yeah. Wrap, wrap up. Wrap, and we, yeah. Ketchup. Ketchup and mayonnaise. I think yeah, we'll do the alternative version of oh the ketchup. God. This yeah, this will, this will be two, two million views on YouTube. You know, and then right. everyone comes to the sea the sea star restaurant in. Thank you very much. I chose out of all the fish and chip restaurants in Bournemouth and Poole your one, and my my friend has one called Harley's. My friend from my yeah. school opens one and I chose your one because your one is close to um, the beach and and it's it's close to the pier so um, I could go to Harley's but it's a very big one and this is the local this is the typical local, fish and yeah. chips and if you, exactly if you go to Harry Amsden it's a different experience it's very it's 2.6 stars on, on Google it's rubbish yeah it's rubbish so Ali has made um, the best possible one thank you so much Ali and, and, it. Well. and it's a traditional for I'll, I'll take two just in case I lose one and we will eat that on the beach yeah. okay see you on the beach uh, i don't like to get things free because i want to have a good uh, fair opinion but these guys gave it to me free without even me asking and i never ask for free so these guys are, are perfect we'll come and come make sure you come and eat here right these are good people the good people of turkey in bournemouth yeah bournemouth pier found a nice seat very nice the best things are life in free are free so we're gonna unbox this i look forward to unboxing this if someone doesn't steal steal it the fish and chips uh ali and and, and his 
pal told me that they had their laptop stolen in the in the fish and chip shop they also gave me a free drink what, what nice people um, let's unbox this the most the only famous because you have roast dinners in, in Europe too there's no way I can finish this so I'll share it with those guys later so I was thinking of table and put set the tripod up but this is the best way to have fish and chips let's try and try it without anything first look at that the succulent piece of fish and the batter and it's just right it was too hot before now mm. a little bit hot mm. The fish really has flavor, and then you feel the batter. They put quite a lot of salt in it, so you can taste the salt, the batter. It's a real texture to a really hearty meal. Let's try the chips now. Mmm. Actually, the chips are really good too. Much better than normal fries. Great combination, fish and chips. And now we're gonna. Oh, hello catch up to it and use the fork to mm. actually I would say probably mayo goes better they didn't have any mayo but with with the uh, fish but catch up with chips. Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. You know, I just do it the Indian way. Eat with the hands. Much more efficient. Look at that. What's the lighting on this? Look at the lighting on this. Mm. How to light a fire? Oxygen, fuel, and heat. Mm. Oh, what could be better? Enjoying a nice fish and chips on Bournemouth Pier with the seagulls coming in. Last time I was at tried Harry Ramston there was a bunch of seagulls trying to steal our fish and chips here you don't have that problem they probably know the people the suckers are there and the fish and chips weren't that good but this one's super hearty the taste of the cod is just like it, 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 there's not a strong taste but you can taste the fish I don't like it when it's too fishy see the, the, the cod you can actually it falls apart oh mm, man that is good cod mm. sorry cods endangered species of, um, in the North Sea all for the great British fish and chips and uh, let's try the fanta with it they, they offered me coke, but I prefer lemon phantom. Oh, there's that citric finish in this lemon phantom. I used to like the orange phantom, but this is just as good. Crunchy, it's so crunchy. Mm. It's got a bit of je ne sais quoi. Mm. I don't know what it is. 
but for British food. This is top notch. Let's go share some uh, food with them. Hopefully my laptop is gonna get stolen. Okay, that's uh, my bag still there. I just got this fish and chips. I can't really finish all of it. Do you, do you guys want some? I'll, I'll, uh... Uh, yeah, I have a nice piece of equipment. You got dual race on there, yeah? Oh, you got SRAM. Yeah. You got, you got, um, what group set? Oh, okay, you got a standard group set, but it's a nice bike, nonetheless. <laughs> I used to be a big uh, biker. Yeah? Did 40K yeah. in one hour. That was, that was my best. I'm not, yeah. I'm not right, a racer bike, <laughs> Triathlon bike. A lot of people do triathlon down in Bournemouth. Yeah. Another photo. Huh? I'm gonna take a photo. Yeah. yeah. Where are you from originally? Portugal. Ah, Portugal. Fala, fala um pouco português também. There you go. Let's get a photo. It's kind of like it takes it from the video, I think. So, okay. have a good one. Tudo bem. Huh? Tudo bem, no? Tudo bem, né? Portugal, uh, mas não uh, Brasil. Portugal. Portugal. Que, uh, que, uh, onde mora, mora você? Lisboa, capital. Muito, muito uh, hermosa. Muito bello. Uh, I grew up here. I grew up here, but I'm Chinese. British Chinese. Okay. Obrigado. Uh, Adiós. I agree that she just looks. Hasta logo. I should have been back in that bin. Damn. So now we are fed. Let's just show you down the side of the zip line let's go past the zip line oh. recycling british people love recycling so we'll do that it's terrible in china you put in china you put everything in the recycling a big truck comes and collects it and just all puts it in one all all general waste it's a joke but in uh general waste in england is actually general waste you know Recycling is actually recycled, so the British are very, oh, thank you, sir. Very responsible people. Yeah, our British people are very nice people, actually. Very civilized, cultured. Hey, guys. Great music. Keep going.
to oh, buy from yeah. Formos oh. and uh, the end of the beginning <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the Balkans or oh, expressly in Italy then in the Balkans so long